Okay, yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Michael Hart from Audi, and today I'm presenting our paper on the automated calibration of um, traffic demand and traffic lights in Sumo using real-world observations. Maybe you're wondering why a car manufacturer like Audi is dealing with traffic simulation. And uh, the answer is that our work is embedded in a research project called SAFE, which recently ended in December 2020. And it was the goal to build up a virtual environment for testing and validation of automated vehicles. And it is a key part of such an environment to have realistically behaving traffic flows and traffic lights. And that is why we're using Sumo to simulate traffic and traffic lights. Um, for our, our calibration, we have access to real traffic counts and traffic light states of the German city Ingolstadt. Um, the calibration of the traffic flow simulation is mainly split up to three tasks. It's the map association of the real observation data, uh, then the traffic light program emulation and the traffic flow calibration. Um, here you can see an excerpt of the network, uh, which we imported from OpenStreetMap. Um, the entire network is about 10 times 10 kilometers large and covers more than 12,000 edges, including urban, rural, and highway roads. And it includes 5,600 junctions with 120 traffic light controlled intersections. And we have data for 75 of these signalized intersections. A key part of the calibration is the association of the traffic light states and the traffic counts in the virtual world. And we know that Sumo already offers applications for matching onto the map, but we have implemented a framework to parse the Sumo, uh, Sumo map and to use the whole map logic for matching applications using the um, GeoPandas library in Python. So for the matching applications of the traffic light states and the traffic counts, the allocation is based on, based on a second ground truth map, a, a reference topology which was provided by the traffic light providers in Ingolstadt, Gefas, and TTS. And this reference map represents all inbound roads and lanes for each traffic light actuated intersection in Ingolstadt, including the associated stopping lines, the possible maneuvers when passing the intersection, the signal groups, which imply the traffic light states on the inbound lanes, and the geographical positions of all loop detectors. So for calibration, all this information must be allocated in the simulation in Sumo. Um, so for the transfer of the signal groups to Sumo, the inbound lanes of the respective junction in the Sumo network must be derived and matched to the inbound lanes from the reference map. And this association should work in an automated manner to avoid unnecessary manual rework. The corresponding junctions from Sumo and the reference map are identified by simply comparing their geometrical centers and taking nearest neighbors there. Here in the plot, we can see the geometrical centers of the stopping lines of all inbound lanes from Sumo here in, in this uh, blue ellipsoid and uh, from the reference uh, map in, in yellow. And matching is then a two-step procedure. We use this two-step uh, process to, due to traceability. It is then easier to assess if the automated process works or if manual correction is needed, for example, if a road in, in Sumo is missing. So in the first step, we aggregate the geometrical centers of all inbound lanes to match uh, the inbound roads among both maps. The matching is done by minimizing the so-called Minkowski distance between each pair of inbound roads. Here it is then exemplarily shown for one collection of pairs. After doing that for every pair, we obtain the corresponding inbound roads of each map here shown by the same color. In the next step, the inbound lanes among the pairs of inbound roads must be matched. And for the matching of inbound lanes, we compare the geometrical centers of the stopping lines. And we calculate the Minkowski distance between each inbound lane among each pair of inbound roads of the two maps. And then we minimize the overall Minkowski distance to find the corresponding inbound lanes here shown by the symbolic markers. And as a result, we know which inbound lanes from the reference map belong to which inbound lanes in Sumo. For the detector loop matching, the same process is applied to minimize the overall Minkowski distance between inbound lanes and detector positions. 
And the main difference here is that detectors are also matched and paired if the number of detectors and the number of inbound lanes differ. And you can see this here in the example in the, um, on the left road and on the right road, there are only two detectors, but three ingoing lanes to the junction. Um, then the emulation of traffic lights uh, is based also on this map association of inbound lanes and the feasible maneuvers associated with the inbound lanes. The traffic lights are emulated as fixed time traffic lights using historical traffic light data from uh, Ingolstadt from which the cycle times of each traffic lights are determined and the duration of um, the green times is calculated from the data and implemented in a way so that the ratio of green time and cycle time corresponds to the real values. So that means that green times might differ from reality, but the percentage that one specific green uh, signal is green is the same like in reality. Furthermore, we calculate the switching order of the traffic lights from the data. Um, in reality, traffic lights in Ingolstadt are controlled adaptively, so traffic adaptively, and apply public transport prioritization. And we consider these influences implicitly as adaptions on average green times. And all traffic light programs are generated hourly. Regarding the traffic assignment, we applied a two-step process. In the first step, routes are determined from an origin destination matrix based on statistics. And after that, the, uh, the traffic is refined using the real traffic counts. So for the first step, we determine an origin destination matrix for the entire city based on statistics from Audi and the city of Ingolstadt. The initial origin destination matrix includes regional statistics from Ingolstadt regarding, for example, the distribution of inhabitants and workplaces in different municipalities, as well as information on attractiveness of municipalities uh, regarding, for example, free time opportunities, shopping areas, and educational establishments. And furthermore, we have access to aggregated data from Audi uh, regarding residences and work time models of all 44,000 employees of Audi and Ingolstadt. And from this origin destination matrix, we derive routes uh, for the entire city using the Sumo inbuilt tools, uh, OD2 trips, and Dua router. So in the next step, um, we pick the routes from the generated pool in order to meet the real traffic counts. So assume we have two districts in Ingolstadt shown here in blue and um, a trip which leads from one um, origin in, um, in one district to a destination in the other district. And this trip then passes several loop detectors in the city um, which you can see here on the right side, marked as these red circles, and the specific location here for locations for this trip here as these orange arrows. So we have implemented an algorithm which chooses the routes from our pool so that the real count are met best. How does this algorithm work? At first, to have more flexibility in the calibration, the initial pool of routes from statistics is tripled. And now it is important to say that for the calibration itself, we do not simulate, but we evaluate the number of traverses via edges from these routes and compare it with the respective real traffic counts aggregated on uh, edge level. So as we triple the initial pool of routes, there may occur many uh, overestimations of these counts. And that is why we iteratively remove uh, routes from the pool now in two steps. As long as there are routes which exclusively pass edges with an overestimation, these routes are deleted from the pool. And when no more routes meeting the first criterion are found, routes are also deleted if the deletion leads to a reduction of the overall error. The second step is conducted until any removal would lead to a higher overall error so that we get a balance of over and underestimation after the second step. Um, so what you can see here is then a video of the final simulation. We colored the vehicles here in yeah, corresponding to their uh, velocity. In green, the vehicles are yeah, traveling with 50 kilometers per hour and the red vehicles are standing. And this is a view 
um, of one specific signalized intersection here in our scenario. Okay, regarding the results part, uh, the results part is also split up to the map uh, matching, the traffic light emulation, and the results from uh, traffic assignment. The results from the map association show that 57 of the 75 traffic light actuated intersections can be fully matched regarding the inbound roads, lanes, and feasible maneuvers. And we must manually correct some map errors, which result from the import of the OpenStreetMap to successfully match all junctions. The detector placement is a bit more erroneous because many case, in many cases, the number of detectors differs from the number of inbound lanes. And in these cases, detectors might be matched onto wrong lanes and have to be shifted manually then. Um, the validation of the emulated traffic lights is conducted based on data of one week from Monday to Friday for the four display time intervals from 7 to 8 in the morning and 9 to 10, and from 4 to 5 and 6 to 7 in the evening. Um, we evaluated the percentage of green time of each signal group with respect to the cycle time of the corresponding traffic light. And we evaluate the distribution of the ratios for the emulated traffic lights and the real traffic light data. So the box plots show median errors here of about 1.6 to 1.9%. And uh, we observed smaller distributions of errors in peak traffic hours from 7 to 8 in the morning and 4 to 5 in the afternoon. Uh, the reason for that lies in the higher proportion of public transport in hours with less traffic. Uh, which highly influences the traffic light switches to, to the public transport prioritization and therefore leads to a higher variety of these traffic light switches. The traffic counts are evaluated for the same week and the same intervals like the traffic lights. And as uh, the presented traffic assignment algorithm uses detector counts from specific hours to calibrate routes starting in the same hour, not all routes might finish within this calibrated hour. So that is why we evaluated some clearing periods in order to enable all vehicles to finish their trips. We compare the absolute value of the relative error of simulated and real counts. And you can see that the error distributions reveal median errors of 13 to 18%. And errors are slightly higher in peak traffic hours than with less traffic. Uh, the main reasons for these errors are, on the one hand, corrupt input data and rerouting, on the other hand. So as the calibration algorithm aspires to balance over and underestimation, a corrupt input, like a too high count, leads to overestimation at spots close to the erroneous count, as this too high count needs to be balanced by the algorithm. And uh, the second reason um, for, for errors is rerouting, like I said, and yeah, in order to cope with this overestimation induced by the inaccurate input data, the rerouting probability of sumo vehicles is adapted to 20%, which means that 20% of the vehicles uh, can take different routes than assigned uh, to reach their destination. And this, this also leads to some errors. Yeah, finally, to conclude, we uh, implemented an automated and scalable approach to calibrate a traffic simulation. A big challenge was to associate real-world observations to the simulation, and we implemented traffic lights, which indicate realistic behavior, and introduced a two-step procedure for traffic assignment based on statistical data and observed traffic counts. In the future, we want to add a time component to the calibration in order to shift some of the calibrated routes to, previous hour, to the previous hour and to be able to skip the clearing period. And um, an even more diverse initial pool of routes uh, can be able to uh, improve um, yeah, the, the calibration even further. And um, we know that there are many, many different other traffic assignment uh, algorithms which we could apply and have a kind of benchmark to see how good our algorithm performs in comparison to the others. And um, although the traffic lights are emulated very well, um, traffic adaptive traffic lights could make the simulation even more realistic. And now last but not least, we are currently in the process to provide our simulation as an open source project. 
And furthermore, if anyone is interested, we also think about to open source our map matching algorithms in Python uh, using GeoPandas. So if any one of you or the Sumo developers is interested in applications for map matching in Sumo for, for example, floating car data or something like bus stops, uh, then I would be happy to discuss this uh, after the presentation, after the session, for example, in, in Bonda.me. Yeah, so then thank you very much for your attention and I'm happy to answer your questions now. <laughs>